hey, hey Let's oi. talk with everyone before we go. How's Alva doing? She's been digging into that data you two found in San Francisco. And she seems more bubbly than usual, if that's even possible. Maybe one of these days I'll get her to tell me more about these ancestors of hers. Just not Pharaoh, maybe? Yeah, we'll skip him. I need to go get ready. Make sure you upgrade any gear you'll need. Okay. I feel bad that I'm not farming more, but at the same time... Uh, I don't want to. I haven't seen you in a while. I was busy hunting machines. Anything interesting happened while I was away? Aaron told us how you tracked down the Osaram supplying Regala with machines. In fact, he's quite adamant about relating the tale at least twice a day. But I can yeah, tell but even the game is telling me. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to track them down if it wasn't for him. Yo, are you sure you wanna? I should get going. Continue. We'll be waiting to embark on our mission. I think that was up. And this. I think that was all. Let's see what's gonna happen. Welcome back. Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. <laughs> well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. I mean, let's go. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Whoa, that's so cool that we're riding together. Look at us. Team Charger. He's also seeing like this word for the first time. It's so crazy. How is the sound by the way? Because I did modify the game sounds a little bit because it was a bit too loud sometimes. All right, connections in place. It's okay. Thank you. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errand, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my Cauldron. This thingy, it's... Blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay. Radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia? Let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the cauldron network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. 
Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Lock it down. Terminating external connections. It's working. It's got nowhere to go. What is that? Malware detected. Attempting to compensate. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. It's cracked. Look. Oh no. Oh fuck. Machines are on their way. Get ready. Here they come. What is Beta gonna do? She has nothing. We're spotted. Well, I'm barely hitting it. What the heck? Hold on. Stay back. Oh my god, and there's a bad mode. Hold on. I bet that either Varl or Beta is gonna die. Mark my words. What is gonna die protecting Beta? I hope not, but like... That's my prediction. Alright, one more mushroom to pick. Indeed. Beta, Hephaestus has locked me out of the node. Any ideas? I'll see what I can do. Hey. Get the other one. Oh, that's kind of nasty. Let's just cover the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. Aloy, more machines Easy. keep coming. Please tell me you're getting close. I am. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side too. I guess Aaron's missing out! Anyway, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. O or some luminous braiding. And you could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity! I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy. I'm happy that you're so positive now, but um should be able to catch a ride on one of those metal carriers. I'm not. Is that right? Nice. There. 
Node access restored. Now you can override it. Good work. You did the heavy lifting. Let me just quickly get some stuff. Oh, what's in here? I think we should be good with the resources. Running out of places to hide. Uh, Aloy, I just registered a huge energy surge back in the production no. chamber. Something big is happening. Here too. Great. Everything's glowing. The machine Hephaestus was building. It must have finished it. Oh no, it's it's powerful. Whatever it is, I'm almost done with the core repairs. Should. Should we come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine if... No, Beta. Just stay where you are, okay? Handling the machine's my job. Okay. Be safe. We'll try. No promises, though. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the compliment. I don't see anything. I just missed that shot. Shit. Okay, I'm not gonna go far away with those spears, I think. Or maybe? I hate this guy. And what's good against plasma though? Oh, you're getting too close. You're not that scary so far. I can just use my spears. What the? Oh! I thought it's gonna be so much worse. I, I fall worse things than you. It's kinda disappointing, easy. Until you come close. Can I, like, can you, like, let me go in the corner, please? Really easy. I'm sending Hephaestus back to you. Thank you. I didn't feel like it was a challenge at all. Compared to fighting 
those uh, giant ass monsters like the bat, the other T Rex. It was really easy. No more hiding, Hephaestus. Got it. Hephaestus is back in the core. Make sure it stays there. I'm heading back. And then we can start the merge. Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. Hi, Weasel. And you, Varl. How about you? We couldn't have done any of this without you. Yeah, Quite it's going you, good so far. Your weekend going. Hey, Loy. The the bypass is done. The core is stable. Festus is one hundred percent contained. Now we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. Okay. Oh, is it really to working? Merge, we need to excise Hephaestus's malicious code carefully. Ooh, she's a pro. And it's good too, especially since I have the entire Mexico. Oh, damn, it's nice. Are you going to travel somewhere or just gonna chill at home? Look at them work together. Look at them, like good sisters. I knew it. Oh, oh three of them. Redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that easy though. <laughs> Get behind me. Come on, quit screwing around. No, one, right? No. No, not why. No, no, no. 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 I knew it. No. No, you promised her. No, no, no. Finally. Tilda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop what is she doing? What is happening?
So many things happened at once. What is going on? Please tell me she saved Vaughn. <laughs> no, that means no. No. He was too good to be true to live. Where are we, though? Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. Where are we? What is this place? What was all this for? Some kind of survival bunker? What is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Take a look if you like. I'm curious to hear your impressions. My friend is dead. Beta and Gaia are gone, and you want me to look at old paintings? Don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art. Or the insight we might gain. Okay, why not? Pairing on the left is Woman Reading a Letter by Vermeer, a true master. And on the right is a forgery. Woman reading music. Which fooled experts into believing it was a priceless original. Early in my career, I became fascinated with such deceptions. Eventually, I developed scanning software that could detect fakes with unparalleled accuracy. Is that how you made enough money to buy your way onto the Odyssey? Oh, no. I made my real fortune later. Okay. I can't accept that Ward is dead. Like, come on. I had a feeling, like, that he's gonna die because he was like, Oh, well, I I, I will go back to um, the Norrlands to teach everyone. And we are so good together with Zo, And we're gonna make it work. And I'm like, really? Game? Really? Selena you did this to Indian. us? She's the goddess of the moon. Whereas he's a simple shepherd. Beside her is the oh. god of love, Cupid. So this reminds me of Sailor Moon. Sneaking up on him. More like, like Serenity and Endymion. The torch that Cupid bears represents Selene's undying infatuation with him. Though the two must remain apart, her love will forever burn. If you open to it away, yeah. This is Rembrandt painting Jeremiah, a man in mourning. Mourning what? His home. The ancient city of Jerusalem. He foresaw its impending doom, but could do nothing to prevent it. So instead, he saved its treasures from destruction, just as I saved these works. You could say we're kindred spirits. Are we, though? A portrait of the painter, Rembrandt's son, Titus, depicted in the habit of a monk. I don't get it. Why would someone like you 
with infinite resources care about this painting of a boy in a hood? It's not the image itself, but the feeling it conveys. The face is bright and defined, but his eyes are downcast, heavy with misfortune. And the background seems to swallow all light. The painting is infused with a sense of loss. I guess I understand how the painter feels. Rembrandt's The Night Watch, by far the most famous painting my yeah, I remember ever this. produced. It was commissioned to honor a militia made up of influential citizens. I guess you must have been an influential citizen. In my day. But not as influential as you've been in this new world. Hey. We have one more painting. The Gust. By Willem van de Velde. The most famous of his many yeah, I know this maritime one too. paintings. A ship crossing into the unknown. I guess you're familiar with that. Indeed, which is why I appreciate this composition in particular. Though waves and wind threaten to destroy the ship, it perseveres, clinging to the light even as darkness closes in all around it. it maybe I didn't want to do the quest because I knew what was coming deep down and there was no Stunning, ready. isn't it? Paintings weren't the only masterpieces of my people's golden age. This is Von Vianen's lidded ewer, molded from a single sheet of silver. Hmm. What was it for? How like Elizabeth you are. <laughs> Function over form. Its practical purpose was less important than its meaning. Von Vianen created it in honor of his late brother, who himself was a famous silversmith. A memorial. Yes. Such beauty from sorrow. I like the history lessons. She's pulling out her own hair. Out of madness, out of grief. It's hard to watch her suffer. A lot of weight on his shoulders. I know the feeling. Done so soon? I've got more important things to worry about. We both do. There is much we are trying to save. Not the least of which is in that vault. I mean, I checked every There's painting. There's nothing wrong with savoring such treasures for a moment more. Or come upstairs and we'll get down to business. Your choice. I'm good. We checked out everything. Is this her basement that we saw previously when I was looking for things? There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? I really want to trust her, but... Why is she doing this? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta. In the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done? You think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them. 
and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to, in order to understand, to be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood, with her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stop. I don't buy it. Especially so. Please, sit down. You didn't have a conscience for like a thousand years and out of a sudden in like five minutes you got a conscience? Like, mm hmm There. That's better. Now, we must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. How did they even become immortals? He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Silence. He's not my friend. He's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Yeah, Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man. He's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While Silence and my friends are busy battling each other, we'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. Yeah, but what about the rest of the clan? Like, are we just gonna sacrifice them? Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? 
a massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. I don't like this. You said is not in urgent danger, so what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be. But her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the data channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes, though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. Well, she felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I know it seems harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. I don't. Actually, you I don't believe you. Look like this place. I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Okay. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation, a passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door, bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. Okay. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape, bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. 
That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? I really like that spark the shit that I'm turned. So you know all about me. What about you? What would you like to know? Oh, oops, sorry, I hit the mic. Oh. Start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian <laughs> sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh. So we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? No. You're an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my Something way out of Something is just so off about her, like I can't explain. First, from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for information. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. By the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in, Faro's machines were devouring the Earth. So I accepted Far Zenith's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. No, I don't think that Liz would have survived there, honestly. She was so different. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were, certainly. It, it wasn't until we were off-planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. It wasn't life. It was stultifying, a pampered dream state. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again, but this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now, finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? Help you, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Far Zenith's original vision. A better future for humanity. Mm-hmm. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the sons of Prometheus. 
The ones working with Regala. By tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Regala's only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zenith? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaru. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all I mean... ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to. Yet, for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything she was. I see in you, and more. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning. A touchy subject in those days. Because mm -hmm. regulatory authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step. An AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. I and mean, I yeah, it sounds pretty time. good. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. All this AI talk really reminds me of what's going on in the world right now with AI and such. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she it just is. had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't, but she was very welcoming, almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My mm -hmm. business was trafficking in secrets and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling.
first Faro. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. Is but it? won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. Oi, 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 oi. Whoa, this is pretty cool. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. No. Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I, I can't hold up this extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise, okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Contact again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me. I can't oh. do anything. I hope I hope we can save her at least. I can't handle telling Zo right. that Wall is dead. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Oh no, we're not gonna ask him nicely. And her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. Will be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. Oh? The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. 
I just there's something about her that irritates me. Like she's like a know it all, and I hate that. Aloy, Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all. We're we're back at base. What happened? It. It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay, I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Oh no, I don't want to say goodbye to Warren. Game! Why are you doing this to me? Make me like him so much. Ah. Sterling Markets is it Enigma. Oh my god, I don't even know what it's that. All the makings of the next big thing, a much ballyhooed acquisition from a not historian turned technologist known as bleeding at science and the great narrative to boot the application was co uh, you know what never mind i don't want to read newspaper Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. Right. I think <laughs> exactly. can't hear us. Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. I hate this. I hate this so much. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey, can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Yes. Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Stop. Don't hug each After other. After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. The rest of you? Whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just oh. tell me one thing. Oh, oh, you're yet to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. 
Oh my god. Oh, but he's just so sweet. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. Very sweet. Oh my god, I'm playing too much Apex. Keep dashing all the way around. Whoa, this place changed. This wasn't here before. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> I view. Oh, are we First burning the him? Breath, then the snow. Or oh, never mind. Maybe I drink while we watch this cutscene and over here, Aloy. come out here to tend to the garden sometimes I needed fresh air other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise so when we returned from Gemini it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here now he can always look out at plain song and further east to the Nora sacred lands. Oh my god, he I'm gonna like cry. That. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy. But I tracked down the flower. Gathered its seeds. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. Oh my god, she's pregnant? I'm with child, Aloy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. And watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. Oh, oh my God! Try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Okay. That was heavy. Right. 
Bro. I hate this game. Did you see Katala's new arm? I never thought I'd see metal bound to flesh in that way. Now you seem happy with it. <laughs> yeah, let's craft the override. Then we can also do this on while we are it. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. You know what? I don't want to talk with people. I'm done. Let's get a sunwing. Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. I still can't believe that they really cared of one. Damn. This place looks beautiful though. Yeah. Out of curiosity, let's check. Um Oh, actually I think we have a lot of um main quest still left, because that's only like 80 um 58 and i feel like that i did a lot of um side questing good there are sun wings up here i'll have to approach them quietly yes i'm quiet oh, that scene was so damn good I don't think I ever cried on stream in a death saying goodbye soon. Damn. Got it. Ooh, let's go. Hello. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god that's so cool there oh my god head rush Tilda free then you'll want to pick Whee! up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. Oh no, how do I... I... you the necessary software. To deploy oh. it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines referred to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. Oh, there is our friend. I would love one of those aerial right? The controlling is a bit confusing, but... There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. How to land this thing? 
I have no idea how to land this on the head of the Dalek. <laughs> but, um... I got... Uh... Land? Okay, that was... That was easy. Yes. Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good. And the energy cells are Reach the top of every tall neck and access their information. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Yep, episode and exercise like the flying mount call. Tell her to use a flying mount call. Okay. Come on! Whoa. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to get used to that. Whoa! Damn, okay. So we are going that way. Higher, higher, higher. Damn, this is so cool. I was really hoping I can fly. Look at all those rebels. Reinforcements, maybe. Oh, it's Heading a mammoth. I hope a car on this knock can hold out a little longer. Oh, you did not notice me. There's the energy cell. Right on the Titan's back. How convenient. Got the cell. Now onto the grove. Pulse from Tolnik should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horse I fly to. Oh, that's useful, nice. Even after I deal with Regala. Oh my god! Annie! Thank you so much! Hello everyone! Hi Annie, hi Himan, hello Babas. Let me give you a shout out. Uh, how do I do then? Wait, I need a comment. Did I write it properly? Yes, I did. Hi Bane. How was the how was the game? Did you murder more people? I... I'm devastated. I think this was the first time that I actually cried on stream. I'm devastated. We lost someone. No more than it was a wholesome stream? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Surely. It was good, you committed more murder than Nom Nom the Tadpole? Nice! Hi, Irene! Murder is nice. Cuz- cuz- cuz we lost someone. And I don't wanna spoil it for you. Okay, how- how- Oh, never mind. I don't wanted to make a coffee before this big fight, but okay. It was very sad. 
kind of figured, but yeah. Ask for a moment to go get food and Alien stream on the bunk. Here goes. Hey, Cryptia. Big boom. Eat that shit. Personally, <laughs> it was on purpose, of course. Is that? But yeah, it's otherwise, we're she doing great. Of the, ten. the tide has turned. Push through. Big, big fight. Is that Regala? Who is that? Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. I will look for a bit. I realize I'm missing half the ingredients. I need to go shopping. The <laughs> okay. Machines, all of them, <laughs> Thanks for down. the lurk. Good luck with the shopping. What? How's that possible? Regala! Hello. Look who's here. Welcome to the party. Now go die, please. Enough bloodshed. Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're atop a machine. <laughs> well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. Oy, oy, oy. I accept your challenge. And one. Are we gonna I'm fight in you, here? I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let no oh no. Interfere. Please tell me we're not gonna fight in here. Because I'm dead. Oh, good. I mean, I know you hate me. You insult and abuse me every time I join the stream. Oh. Oh, she is fast. Oh my god. Uh, hello, lady. Chill the fuck out. Or down. Or something. Eat this. Run! Coward! You won't kill me like this! I'm sure I will. Watch me throwing spears at you. Oh, come on now, Aloy. Really? Behind those barrels? Alright, so that's how it's gonna be. Use a drop shield to protect yourself from ranged attacks. Wait, yeah, I have a shield. I forgot. Where is the shield? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ouch. Ouch. When is the shield? Oh, I have one drop shield. How do I use this? Oh, that didn't last long. Where are you? You know what? I have double arrows, too. Oh, wait, I can go down. Oh, I'm stuck in this place. Bro. Bro. Okay, this is not good, though. Um oh, 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 oh. Gonna burn Here it comes Um I don't have more spears. Oh my god, what? I'm not hiding. I'm just preparing 
to spear you down. Oh my god, okay. Uh, that's cheating. <laughs> oh boy, and if you Ali, if you need to take care of yourself, like this eat, rest, go for it. Don't worry about it. I appreciate the yeah, rain. It is. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Die here and now. Ah, she's buzzed. <laughs> Not fast. Okay, actually, faster than my spears. This oh! Is the way to fight. It is. Gotta get more ammo. Can I break your helmet? Oh my god. You see, that you're throwing you spears are. as well. It's not just me. Where are you? Are we going around? Oh. <gasps> Missed me. Ouch. Well, now you didn't. The muscles from your oh ow unbelievable ow 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 oops Enjoy your dinner. On my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead. Run me through. <sighs> Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. Do I have to choose to She's kill her? She's all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die, Oh my god. Uh, why there isn't the auto save like in Baldur's Gate? You know what? I will see how this turns out. I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people, a squad, that's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? 
without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. This sounds way too easy. Chief, there's something you both need to see in the throne room. What is happening? He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. Is it silence? From an interested party. It is silence. Huh, now he wants to talk to us. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. I hope he doesn't hate me. But we could use Regala as a meat shield. Let me help you with your mission. If nothing more. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Oh. Thank you. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. <laughs> Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. Oh, please shut up. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Oh. <laughs> oh. Stepping that on bare feet is Tilda, just... you there? Okay. I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now it doesn't fly, sound very impressive. I can do before I head back. Okay. Or you should know that impress I more like. Since we last went toe -to -toe. Well, good thing I have a little something a book. That is about it. Send it straight. Hey, what armor did I get? Is it this one? Because I... That's kind of boring. I mean, thank you, Chief. I... yeah. But I thought it's gonna be... Something new, but fine. Aloy's here. So, Aloy. You've added yet another deed to your name. And I'm guessing by the look in your eyes that you're not done yet. Yep. Not quite. Is there anything we can do? We owe you that much. After everything you've been through, you're one of the best people to support Hikaru's bid for peace. Not just between the clans, but with the Karja too. Then I will. You have my word. And until my last breath, I'll make sure the tribe remembers all that you've done for us. 
He's sweet. Thank you. Join JTF-10 for a covert operation deep within the region. I can speak with a couple of people here, so I will do that. Always. The flame of the desert now flies oh, yeah. on the wings of the ten. Well, wonders never cease. I thought you wanted to stay neutral. In the end, I decided that if you thought Hakara was worth fighting for, then that was good enough for me. I'm honored. The honor is mine. Oh. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah. Sparing Hagala caused this mess to begin with. The chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as the tribe lives on. The chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as the tribe lives on. And so the wings of the ten found us when things were at their direst. I'm not some legend come to life, Chitaka. That may be, but we will always be in your debt. So what? So. Carl keeps his head as a soldier of JD of Triad. With everything that's happened, mm -hmm. I feel like I need to do more. Oh, it's you! I hate you. I don't even want to talk to you, but I do want to talk to you. I should Chikose. see what you thought you'd be have back to at say. the work. Let it be known that the Sky Clan defended the Grove today, as hopeless a battle <laughs> as it was, until you flew in on the wings of the Ten, that is. We are in your debt. You fought for your tribe. So your debt is paid. On your way then. He's a real piece of work. That was amazing. From oh, it's you, Marshal Avira. What did I tell you, Aloy? You get into the craziest of fights. And I'm a finish this myself. I think I made it halfway. Oh no! Ever. I see I'm a tendency with you, Ben. Time. So what's next for you then? You should the definitely the finish it. Island? Soon, yeah. Then their days are numbered. Good luck. I, I really love this game so far. And it's really, really underrated in my opinion. I feel like I need to do more. For the clan, the tribe. Your part in today's battle will be recounted for years to come by me and all chaplains who come after. So, I've been thinking. I'm going to petition to join the Chief's Come guard. learn about life with as a of JTF-10. I have a feeling I feel like that I... I Seek out the, the wisdom clan. of the visions. Try. Can talk with more people around? Maybe I was wrong about you, Outlander. Oh, no. Aloy, we salute you. Okay, cool. I love the first one. I spent more time running around killing the Abadanas and the Afghan story. Same with this one, but then I got busy and I had to put it on hold. Oh no! Finish it, finish it! I actually want to in the name of the ten. Ah, never mind, not fighting. Um Oh, f oh now I can fly there. Uh -huh. Oh Oh my god, I can do so many more things. Let's go. I do want to do this. But it's really far away. Wait, which one would be closer? To come from this way? Ah, we are cold here. I'm gonna quickly get up and make a coffee though. Well, I hope so. I know you're super busy. And it's really good to see you back, even if just for a little bit. Can my mount even come in here? No. Um... Maybe I run, run out here. Oh yes, it's okay. I heard that you were like super busy and all that. So, oh my god. Okay, I forgot that that's how it happens. No, don't worry about it. But yeah, we're gonna fly there. Oh. 
Was this part of the bridge? No, no, that is the Golden Gate Bridge. Machines. Gotta be careful. Oh boy. Oh hello. Oh my god. Um how do I land? Oh my god. Oh my god. Go down. How how do we go down? Oh my god. The gift for the lurk weasel. Ah! Ready for this? Ah, Jesus! Give me a break! Oh, you're too close. Oh, I don't see shit. Wait, how are you dead? Oh, wait, is my bird fighting for me? Oh, that's cool. Good bird. I love you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hello. <laughs> Eat that. Oh, and you're still alive. Oh, 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 oh. Ship. Must be the one Harriam and Christia were on. And we just collect this thing here, the medal or whatever I need to collect. Oh, wait, that's it? I'm done? Like that was it? Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see stuff on it. Oh, and I see stuff on there as well. How do I mount? Where are you? Come back. Oh! Wee! Yeah, let's go that way, okay? Uh. Um, 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 oh, under the ship, there is the sea monster, no? Monster, well, robot. Wait, no, that's the ship itself. I see, never mind. I wanna go off. Ugh. Thank you for the rain. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. <laughs> yeah, stop. Uh. I wonder if there's more. Huh? Oh no, uh, no, 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 no. No, stay where you are. I'm not interested. can just like mount you like this oh my god let's fly oh the snap mouse is coming oh boy oh my god goodbye good luck catching up
Um, I assume I can't fly in, so I will just drop. Hello. By the ancestors, you're back. Is that? I'm sorry. <sighs> it's broken. Our last hope. No. There has to be a way to fix it. How? We just need to replace the batteries and the sensor unit. Right, because they're just lying around a jungle for us to find. I'm sure I can help. The ancient fleet. How? Oh. It might have what we need. What ancient fleet? When we abandoned our ship, we were washed ashore on a beach southwest of here. There were ships built by the ancestors there. Overseer Bohai will never let us go there. He won't risk losing any more navigators. He needs us to guide the fleet home. I can go. No one's going home without a working gyro compass. I can get them for you. You'll need to look for a sensor unit. They're usually on a ship's antenna. And batteries. Three of them. They're small, so they might be hard to find. I've got something for that. We put our faith in you once again, Ancestor. So what? Those ancient ships have got to be around here somewhere. I mean, there is one. Like... Damn, this game is beautiful. There, a sunken ship. Maybe it has what Harriam and Christia need to fix the gyro compass. Oh, maybe I should have gone closer, but oh well. <gasps> Hello! Oh! 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 Okay. Swim! Aloy, swim! There. Looks like some sort of power source. Must be a battery. One down, two to go. Oh boy. That ship's in rough shape. Anything in here? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. 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 Okay, go back. Let's go back and then let's go up. And then let's go up again. Oh, there is something there. I do not think that this is what we need, but I will take it. Is anybody home? Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! Yes, Ali. I will hydrate with coffee, tea. <clears throat> Welcome back. I also got a little uh, dark almond chocolate milk. As a snack. What did you have for dinner? Um. Um. Please don't notice me. I think. Oh wait, there's more ship. Okay. Oh wait, there's something there. Another battery. I just need one more of these. The ship's antenna. Let's hope the sensor unit is still intact. The mine? Sensor unit. But there is an old recording. This is the USS Anchorage oh. hailing anyone who's left. The Medina, the Omaha, and the New Orleans are down, and the swarm just cracked the Harris open like an egg. Incoming! Hold on! Oh. The lead Horus is heavily damaged. If we can concentrate fire, maybe we can still take it down. I think we've got a ping on the Hamilton! Lost it! 
Green shine? Ho oh, ho! Now where's this one? Oh. No, oh my god, what is this scanning thing? Oh wait, don't notice me please, I'm not here. Oh, don't notice me, I'm not here. No, 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 no. no. Chill out. Do your thing, I'm doing my thing, we all doing our own thing. I can't fight you underwater. Just kind of a cheating if you ask me. You take a look inside that shipwreck. See if there's any power sources there. Yes. Hey, go back, go back, go back. I'm not here. <laughs> I'm gonna scan from this angle. Maybe I will find something that I missed before. Could shoot it with fire. Underwater with fire, I'm sure that's gonna go well. You take a look inside that shipwreck, see if there's any power sources there. Okay, let's go there. Just stay where you are. You're gonna be good. Oh, there it is. Hello, fishes. Wait, this is not what I need. Oh, there it is. Found you. That should be it. Focus picked up coordinates from that transmission I found. If there's more shipwrecks there, one might have an intact sensor. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to swim that far. I will try to get my mom to pick me up somewhere here. If I can climb up this. Maybe that sunwing I overrode is still around. Could be a faster way to get to those coordinates I found. Indeed. Can I go up here? Eloy! 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 Okay, well, never mind. Can you pick me up from the water? Yes, good boy! I love you. Now we should go up. Oh, what is happening? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Great. That's not good to for us. It before I can look for the sensor the Quen need. All right. How do I go down again? We oh shit. I mean, yeah, <laughs> this is probably gonna be. Oh, so oh, I forgot to go down. Oh my god, uh, I'm not here. No, it noticed me. Okay, I need more coffee for this. But yeah, I'm so happy. She looks so good.
Hmm. Because I was asking for an update and he said that he's going to be done with the colors this week. I was like, sure, no problem. I just wanted, wanted to know like if there's any update or something. <clears throat> and uh, But I was like, no, hurry, take your time. Yeah, right. And he was like, here's a little progress. I'm so sorry. I I'm gonna need more time. I'm gonna be done with it by Monday. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, damn. Someone can actually communicate. What the hell? She looks so pretty, guys. Like, I'm... This year is such a so, so, it was so shitty at some parts, but this is like something I'm really looking forward to. Anyway, um, back to the game. I drank coffee. We can, we can do this, right? Ouch. Um. Anyways, I'm I'm about to cry for the second time today, but now for from happiness, so it's all good. What the? Oh. Is my don't don't fight don't fight this thing please I don't want you to die oh how am I missing everything finally you know what I can use my valor for you. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Oh. Too close. Too close. Right in the poop. Yours, K. Oh my god. What did hit me? What did you do? I don't see shit. I'm sorry. Like... I out of stamina. Oh boy. You're cute, but um more spear. Come on. Good. Is my mount alive? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I should be able to check out that antenna now. What? You gotta see a different perfect range for big damage. Well, now with that bow. Oh, something is inside here. Can I go in? Hello? I wonder then, like after this, if I should draw a new life to the model. Not life to the model. Um, um, um. I can't even think anymore. Um, PNG tuber, yes. How do I get up there? Because my life to the model is gonna look very different. Maybe I will. Maybe I will tackle the challenge. Go down. I have no idea what am I. You know what? Let's just call my mom. Hello. Pick me up, please. I need help. Time to get in the air. But yeah, Ben. If you're bored and want to read some drama 
and why I said that when I get pinged on Discord, it's never a good sign. You will understand. Why? Here. I mean, I guess I can go up there. No? Oh, yes. Yes, drama drama. It's 1.30 flipping a.m. We were having the time of our life in um, Apex. Looks like there's one more transmission in here. Oh. This is the Hamilton. Anchorage, your transmission has been received. Targeting the lead Horus. It's mad, mad downs with popcorns. You maybe have to Just go to the, the top of the channel to see it. Can't fire. We're empty. To Damn set it. it visible. Captain, there's nothing left to fire. Your orders. Set a course for the Horus chassis. Ramming speed. Whoa. It's never a happy ending, is it? Nope. It never is. Did you think life would be so tough here? I found what you need. Oh my god, okay. Thank you. I'll get working on the gyro compass immediately. You're welcome. I'm coming home, Meandra. <sighs> You've done us a great kindness, Aloy. Christia is not the only one with people waiting back home. She'll be able to fix that gyro compass in no time. We'll never be able to thank you enough. But this should be a start. If you need anything, tell Bohai to contact Alva. I'm sure she can help. May the ancestors steer us true. I can't believe we're actually going to have any more doubts. 